So this is an A2B snapshot. When you open the snapshot, I want you to go to settings and then I want you to go to custom values. So in custom values, you'll see there's a folder and in the folder, you've got A2P. Now there's actually one thing that's not in the folder, but it's part of it. It's this one, company logo. So treat it as if this is just information for A2P, not information that you would just normally have this custom values used for your business, All right? So you're going to put in your business name and just in case anyone doesn't know how custom values work, let's see, we're going to go over to the dots or we're going to edit custom value and we're going to do the value of business name. We'll say A, B, C company and update it. And look at that lightning speed. Okay. So here we are for the custom value known as business name. The value is ABC. So anywhere where this would be placed, it's going to put the value ABC company name or whatever you put for your company. So do the same thing. Um, I'm going to come back to privacy policy in terms of service, but uh, you're going to fill that out a little bit later, but you're going to put your site address. You're going to put your business email. If you want to put your company logo, you can, but you don't have to. Complete mailing address. This would just be like the whole thing. One, two, three, Main Street. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, 73003. I put that all in because that's going to actually populate in the terms of service. Governing county, governing state. So I'd put Oklahoma County, Oklahoma. Phone number, use whatever phone number you want. Ideally, it's a texting number, but if you don't have a texting number yet, put in your phone number. Terms of service, you'll come back to. So once you fill that stuff out, then um, we're going to go to Sites. And I'm going to show you, we're going to go to forms. The form now, and, and now you're going to see, by the way, you're going to see two forms. The one that you need for you getting A2P is this one right here. It says January 25. It's going to have two checkboxes. So this apparently is one of the new things you have to have. If I click this box, I agree, I agree to receive occasional marketing messages. And then this one is I consent to receive. So it's both the same thing. But you have to have these two boxes according to high level and it got Chris approved. Also, you got terms and privacy policy here in this opt-in. So if we click on that, we go over here to terms of service and click the link, you'll see that it's linked to the custom value. So when that custom value is populated, it's going to populate to that link. Now let's get out of the form and we'll go to the funnel. In the funnel, Actually, you know, let me, let me be more clear when we go over here, cause in case you want to know what this is, this is a part of when you have customers and you want to get them registered, you can go into settings and have them fill out the information, or you can send them a form and just say, Hey, fill this out. And when they fill it out, then you fill it out for them in their settings to get them ATP. That's all that that is. But for now, let's get you sorted. Then we go to funnels and. What I just showed you for customers, this is the funnel for that, where it sends it to them. But for yourself, you're going to focus on this stat site and compliance. So the, the compliance funnel is there's an opt-in, there's a privacy policy, and there's a terms of service. Now on the opt-in, you're going to click on, you're going to go to publishing. Actually, try on the funnel itself, you're going to go to settings and you're going to select your domain. So you need to make sure that you have attached a domain or subdomain to your account, to your sub account. So you'll select that domain. Once you select that domain, then when you're in publishing for each one of these funnel steps, you'll have the slug that goes with it. So we might call this opt-in for, uh, let me see, if you don't give it any, anything, it's going to be a whole bunch of numbers because so many of the people use the same slug throughout the high level community. So you might like call it opt-in, something unique to your name. Let's hear one of our, one of our students has kick-ass marketing. So we might do K, um, K A S or K A M. Right. And so now the funnel step doesn't have a whole bunch of numbers. If you've found something unique and so we look at it again, right? So there it is. So it'll be your domain and which would be the agency opt-in. 
Okay, so now we're going to edit this. Now, if this is for your agency, you would simply edit this to what you want it to say. You can say something like, no high pressure sales call, blah, blah, blah. Just kind of use this boilerplate language. Or if you're using this for a local client, you might just say, need to connect or let's connect right here because you're just showing that someone can opt in, right? So just have message messaging that relates to whatever that might be. If that's the case, you know, just change this to whatever you need to say. And then here's the opt-in form populated here for you. The terms and service and policy are already linked up. And then we've got the privacy policy and the terms of service. So when I edit on this, this is an updated terms of service. Again, thanks to Chris for his diligent work. So there are a lot of custom values in here. Like this is the business name. Here's the website. Here's the business name. As we scroll through here, we've got more things like privacy page, on and on. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, like here we go. Business name, mailing address, phone number, business email, phone number, so on and so forth. You get the point. Once you fill in your custom values, this is all going to populate in for you. And everything is all linked up. Once you have chosen your domain for your sub account and you attach the domain to this funnel, then you'll have a publishing page, you know, the, the link for the privacy policy in terms of service. Then you'll take that and put that in the custom values, right? So let's say that, right, this is terms. So if my domain was ABC company, it would be abccompany.com slash terms dash PS or whatever you make your slug. And then you take that entire URL or the terms and go to custom values, put it in the custom values. Same thing with privacy policy, do that. And then those are going to populate everywhere they need to populate as well.